In our previous class, we looked at this equation, the Chapman and Scott. We also discussed this is the value of diffusion coefficient. Okay, and when you are using this equation, you must make sure that all the values, all the units are according to whatever is in the description. For example, T must be in Kelvin. MA, MB uh, is the molecular weight. It can be in any units because it will cancel out each other. Pressure must be in ATM. And then the rest will be uh, the respective unit. Because why? Because if you put all the values in the correct unit, then only you get the value of DAB, your diffusion coefficient, in unit is cm squared per second. So meaning that whenever you use this equation, whatever value you get here, the unit for your diffusion coefficient is cm squared per second. So if you are using the wrong unit for temperature, pressure, so you will not get this unit. So if you like to try, you can try to sub substitute all the units for each of the term and then you do unit cancellation. And if you follow all the units here, you will get the unit for the AB is cm squared per second. So these are the uh, ways for you to find the value of omega d. In order for you to find the value of omega d, you need to know the value of kt over epsilon ab or 1, 2. And then you also, in order for you to find the value of epsilon kt over epsilon ab, you need to find the value of epsilon over k for the uh, component that you have in your system. If you have air and benzene, air and argon, air and ammonia, so you can find the value in this index. And then these OSP tables also give you the value of sigma for each of the compound. So that was how we actually can use the equation for to find the diffusion coefficient. Now, the next thing that we are going to be looking at is that we also say that if you look at our value of collision, okay, this value of uh, omega d, our collision integral, it is actually related to our temperature right so if you look at this table here you can see here in order for you to find the value of omega d you need to find the value of k is our boltzmann constant t here is our temperature in kelvin and your epsilon ab so meaning that there is a relationship between your omega d and temperature so based on that relationship we can say that the value of DAB increases more than one and a half power of the absolute T. So if you remember the equation for our T in our Chapman and Scott equation, we had T to the power of 1.5. So this T is related to our value of omega and because of that, it can affect the value of our DAB. So based on that, we there, there, there is a range of temperature between 300 and 1000 degrees Kelvin. So DAB will vary up to this extent. Okay. So based on this, all this relationship, we can actually create a new equation here. Okay. So this new equation is related to the temp to the temperature and pressure of our system with the temperature and pressure of uh, at standard temperature and pressure. So you must know what is STP, standard temperature and pressure. So usually STP is as 0 degree Celsius and 1 PM. So this is the standard temperature and this is the standard pressure. So usually, most of the time, the value of diffusion coefficient for some mixture, some components, let's say A and B, is already stated in appendix and tables. It has already been calculated. So for example, this is a table that shows the diffusion coefficient for uh, the system of acetic acid and a system of your benzene and air. So you can see that we already have a value here. So this value is the value of diffusion coefficient at temperature 0 degrees Celsius and 
pressure 1 atm at s d p so we can actually use this equation and by knowing the relationship between our omega d and temperature we can derive this new equation where we can find dab2 dab2 here is that the diffusion coefficient at a different temperature and pressure so for example we can say that this is our so if let's say we make an example that we know that we have a system at 100 degrees celsius and 2 atm okay our system is at this temperature and pressure so if let's say we are asked to find the value of dab you can first of all straight away use this equation okay so you know the temperature you can you can you know the pressure you can find the value of sigma ab square you can find the value of omega d you know the component so you can find the value of molecular weight of component a and you can find the molecular weight of component b and you can do all these steps you can find the value of diffusion coefficient or if you know the diffusion coefficient of this material component a and component b at standard temperature and pressure at zero degrees celsius and one atm you can actually use this equation to find the diffusion coefficient at this temperature and pressure so if you look at here the diffusion coefficient at our system temperature and pressure we label it as the ab2 is equal to the value of diffusion coefficient of that component of that system at standard temperature and pressure at zero degree celsius and 20 amps times pressure stp which is our 1 atm and p2 is our pressure at our current system so in our case in our example here it's going to be 2 atm so p2 is 2 atm and then times t2 is our temperature of the system and in this case is 100 degrees celsius so t2 is 100 degrees celsius and our tstp is 0 degrees celsius but make sure that when you are using this equation you must always use this temperature in kelvin okay the unit must always be in kelvin so if let's say if your system is at 100 degrees celsius you must change first 100 degrees celsius into kelvin which is going to be 100 degrees celsius if you change it's going to be 373 kelvin and for tstp which is zero degree celsius so if you change it's going to be 273 kelvin times one power of 1.75 so by using this equation you can actually find the value of efficient coefficient at your system temperature and pressure so it's basically saying that you have two options Whichever you like to use, you will get similar answer.